Hello everyone, my name is Tyler Chrome Piatek from Coley at Canisius College. In this video we will cover how to use Adobe Acrobat Reader or Adobe Acrobat DC Pro to do freehand drawings on PDFs. As a professor you may want to show corrections to PDF documents, or maybe to emphasize certain sections of a paper. As a student your professor may ask you to draw molecular structures or diagrams. Whichever group you belong to, you can use either Adobe Acrobat DC Pro or Adobe Acrobat Reader to do this swiftly and easily. Keep in mind that Adobe Acrobat DC Pro is only available to professors, while everyone can use Adobe Acrobat Reader, a free but no less powerful version of the software. To do this, let's start by opening up a PDF. I have a PDF on my desktop called Adobe Freehand.pdf, which I will use. I'll right click on it, and then I'll go to open with, and then I can choose either Adobe Acrobat DC or Adobe Acrobat Reader DC. You can see that I actually have both the free and the paid version, uh, but I'll use the free version as the case study for this. This is to show that you can do this type of free handing in the free version as well as the paid version. The steps are no different in either program. Once the PDF has opened, on the right hand side is a menu with a scroll bar. We are looking for a yellow symbol with the title of comments. When I click on this, two things happen. The first is a menu to the right pops up, right here. This is basically a table of contents for any comments made on the PDF. For now, I will just click on the arrow on the left that is pointing to the right, so this arrow right here. And this will close that menu, so I have all the space to look at my PDF document. The next thing is the toolbar above the PDF has also changed with things that can be useful for commenting on a PDF. The symbol that we are looking for looks like a pen or a pencil. I'll click on that. And as you can see, a couple of options to the far right have uh, lit up. Uh, one is a red circle, which I can click on to change the color. I'll choose the color blue. And the other thing are a bunch of horizontal lines. I'll click on that. And for the line thickness, I will change this to a 5 point font. While this particular document does not have space for me to draw things, I will scroll down to the bottom as I do have extra space at the bottom to draw things. I'm using a mouse, so I'll just click and make some shapes that hopefully looks like a water molecule. I can then use the selection tool right here to grab this whole drawing that I've made and I can hover over these bars that are on the left and right to move it around. Or I can grab on these circles and drag in to shrink it or drag out to make it bigger. That is it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, please email us at helpdesk at Thank you for watching and have a good rest of your day.